They have to weigh on me. Very fast. To beat the human lamppost, I would be using, naturally, a Toyota pickup truck. It's a tough old bird, this, but even so, for the trip to the pole, it had been sent to Iceland for a few modifications. The biggest change, apart from the gun, obviously, are the enormous wheels. Cuban wheels, I like to call them. Give it a bit of extra height. Uh, the tyres are handmade, cost two and a half thousand pounds each. They're so vast, in fact, that the front suspension has had to be moved forwards, otherwise you wouldn't be able to open the door. Uh, other changes, well, it's got heavy-duty diffs, heavy-duty suspension, it's got a sump guard about that thick in case we hit a piece of pretty much solid 300-year-old ice. And then at the front, uh, I insisted it was fitted with these powerful spot lamps, although that might have been a bit unnecessary, since it's currently 11.30 p.m., and this is as dark as it ever gets. Inside, there was marine satellite navigation. And underneath, a long-range fuel tank filled with a freeze-resistant mixture of diesel and avgas. In fact, all I need to complete the picture is a guide and a navigator. Now, uh, Richard Hammond has been given Matty McNair, who is one of the world's leading Arctic experts. Me? I've been given him. 